guys, welcome to another episode of Green Corner right here on MCTV. Join us as we take you across Trinidad and Tobago where we will feature the vast diversity of farmers, home gardeners, agro-processors and many more. I am your host Eknath Singh and in a bit I will be teaching you on how we make local pickles. Welcome back to Green Corner, guys. So today, we have a sp very special episode. Now, a lot of us at home, we make sandwiches at some point. And I personally love sandwiches. But in particular, there is one ingredient I love in my sandwiches, pickles. So on today's episode of Green Corner, we are going to be learning how to make a variety of pickles using locally grown produce. So today, we are joined with 15-year-old Ajani. Did I pronounce it properly? Yes. Ajani. Thank you, Ajani, for being on our show today. So, Ajani, tell us a bit about yourself and your experience in making pickles, as well as some of the steps that are involved. And what type of produce are we going to be using today to make pickles? Okay. Well, good morning. As Ignatia said, my name is Ajani, last name Lee. I have been making pickles for a few years now. First learning how to in Natasha Lee's 4 each back when she was the president of the organization. So you, so you have, you, uh, you master the art of making pickles, so you can make pickles from scratch. Pickles from scratch, you only need about four ingredients. Four ingredients. So, Exclude your pot. Right, so the first thing I want to know today, right, because I need to buy pickles, and I love pickles in my sandwiches. So the first step in making pickles, right, what do we need? First thing you need is a pickling solution, pickle water, pickle juice. What is that? Pickling solution? What pickle is solution will be whatever liquid that you pickle with floating in here. Say, whatever pickles you find in the grocery, you have that would be cucumber pickles, carrots, whatever maybe, Right? And sometimes it's upwards of $50, for even a small jar. When you can make it at home, for so very cheap, using only four ingredients. Right, so the pickle sauce, how, so that's the first step in creating our pickles. Yeah, that is. So, to begin this process of making the pickles, we are going to learn how to make the pickle sauce. So, can you guide us on some of the steps? Right, so first you would need lemon and lemon juice. We have some here already juiced, but it's always best to have a little bit fresh, if you could. So, and juice. Yeah, so the most common one is the most common one with the fairly white so expensive. 
now you can insert it into your bottle, put your vegetables in, and add your smoosha, and leave it to set for about three to four days. It gives that more of an aroma. Yes. Okay. So it changes the flavor. So I use either dill or tarragon, or you can even use fine thyme. Some people use uh, garlic, but that's not going to be all local. So you realize nothing here has garlic and onion in it. Right? You can ginger. I have a bottle of that that has done before. Now the thing about pickling is that when vegetables are cheap, you can purchase an amount that you can preserve for later on. So there are times ginger will be $10, there are times ginger is $40. Buy one is $10, pickle it, preserve it, store it and use it when you don't have on the market. Same thing with cucumbers, today cucumbers cheap, four pounds for $10. Pickle it and put it in your refrigerator, use it after in salad in sandwiches, whatever. So the idea behind pickling is another way to preserve your preserve. fruits and vegetables for a period of time for when there isn't any or it's expensive and you don't want to buy it. So today we are going to be pickling what? Cucumbers. Yes, we are cucumbers. Cucumbers, sweet peppers. Sweet peppers. Hot peppers. Right. We can pickle hot yes. peppers. Pickled hot peppers and you get a different flavor from a pepper sauce. Or if you just squeeze lime on it. You see the added salt and sugar mix gives the solution and gives the vegetables in it a different flavor. Okay. Pimentos as well? Right. Um, I don't know whether you would have bought these little peppers. peppers. Right now, I didn't get any of that kind of pepper, but I've pickled tomatoes before. And it gives you similar flavor, but uh, you can also pickle tomatoes, as I said, when it's cheap. Uh, cheap. Yes. Pickle it, store it. Use it again. I'm saying bully. Yeah, that will go in our black pepper pickle oh. solution. Well, I love pepper. You all know I love pepper. <laughs> I, I from table and I grew up eating pepper. Right. Yeah, I, so I'm looking forward to tasting that. Right. So anyway, let's start cutting. Right, right. So how where do we okay. begin? So you can if you have one of these little tools, it's very cheap. You can get it in a, any haberdashery store. This gives you a nice ruffle on your cut. So when you cut down, you get a, it's just a little fancy kind of squiggle on it. So it looks pretty when you put it oh. in the pickling jar. Other than that, just a knife. Now with my cucumbers, I don't peel it because as I said, we want it to remain sturdy. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Now you're doing it not very thin and neither too thick. You don't want it to be over in your sandwich. Actually, cucumber pickles is my favorite. Right, now with cucumbers, as I said, you don't just get cucumber, we're gonna add dill. So we will be doing dill pickle with our cucumber. Now you can do slices like these, or parsley. Or if you want to use your pickles as a snack, you can do strips. So you can cut it, and depending on the height of your jar, of course you will check this. if you have a tall jar, you can leave it like this, and you can do sticks like these. And of course if you have a shorter jar, you just cut it in half. So then you can have nice cucumber sticks for a snack, cucumber sticks, all right? And we leave the skin on? Yes, I leave the skin on.
make sure before you start all of this that all your vegetables are well washed and drained because you don't want to contaminate your pickling solution and spoil your entire batch of pickles. Alright, so your cabbage. Nice thin slices. If you end up with chunks, I think you just take it out. I have tables, so all my extra fat pieces and ends, they go into the table for But one question. You know my favorite is okra, fried okra. Can you pick some okra? <laughs> okra, I think, would get soft. I've never tried it. And um, some people eat okra raw, the very young ones. So I know last time we talked about okra flour. That's my favorite. Fried okra is my right. favorite. <laughs>
seeing some of those things that what we call our mother in law. Mm -hmm. Right? But as I said, the pickle solution is going to give you the front. Because a lot of people don't like karate because of the bitterness. Right, but no, you don't get that bitter taste at all when you do the pickles. And then later on, first to try our pickles, I have a surprise for you with some coconut flour. Oh, can we make coconut, coconut flour. flour? Yes, remember when we made our coconut flour last episode? I thought we had bread if we made today. So we are going to be eat, chuck, we are going to be sampling the pickles with coconut flour, with bread made, made from, from coconut, coconut flour. flour. So right. very excited. So this is, you know, our bandana, our charogani, and this is what I will put in with the pepper. Okay. Right? Notice again, as I said, there is no garlic here today. Because, you know, everything in this pickling process, the end product is, is all, is 99% local, yep. total local. Yep. The, only, yep. the only outside input would be the salt. Well, we use brown sugar. Um, we can take brown sugar with a grain of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you could use honey if you want to go real, real, total local. real local. Use some honey instead of the a little costly, but you can try it. And look at the tomatoes and those things will go out. Yes. Oh, I'm smelling that pepper. It's hot. You can smell that it's hot. I, I'm not a fan of karate, but I'm willing to taste pickle karate. And, and it's not too fat. You have to do it on a little thing. Because of course you don't want to scare people who don't like karate. Lemon juice and a little bit of sugar or honey, and you have 
and these are the sticks. We don't need, we, we can give this one with, with just the pickling solution because not everyone will like dill, not everyone will like tarragon, that kind of thing. So, so in terms of, I, I know the dill gives it a flavor. Yes. So it, uh, what do you, you recommend as the best food we can use? I like dill. dill. Everybody is. But if someone the doesn't have access to dill, what can we use? You would recommend. You can use garlic. Garlic. You can use You can use celery. I won't use side because side tends to spoil food, right? So you can use celery. You can use parsley. Parsley. So let's go with celery parsley instead of dill. Yeah. yeah. And French. For those of you who may not have access to dill. Right. But dill is cheap. This plant costs ten or fifteen dollars. And what I suggest to people when it grows, pick the seeds. It has root seeds that come up, and you sprinkle it, and it grows like grass. And what about if there is a dill as a sudden as a any grocery box? Uh, yes, you can use um, dried dill. Yes, you can buy dried dill. And use so we can use the dried dill? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, yes. Excellent. Right. So, so far we have cucumbers, we have cucumbers, we have cabbage, we have sweet pepper and cauliflower. And cauliflower. We have pico pimentos by itself. And this looks like my favorite already. <laughs> Hot pepper with a little body. Bandania, karaili, sour cherry, and we to go. So now we have to get our pickling solution and So guys, when we get back, we are going to be pulling our bottles with our pickling solution. So guys, we are now going to be bottling our pickles with the pickling solution. Right. So you'll notice that this pickling solution is not completely clear. If you were to use white vinegar, it would be clear, but because we use lemons, of course it's a little cloudy. So absolutely nothing is wrong with it. But then it will be a bit and then it may be more healthy. Like this, it is. Because remember, the idea behind this too is that you want stuff that is preserving powder free, um, chemical free. So this absolute has absolutely no um, You don't have preserving agent or nothing, no. Nothing, no. So this bottle is going to take quite a bit too. We have to boil some water to top of the rest. Right. So how much will we fill? We fill it right up? Yeah, you have to fill it right up. Okay. Hey guys, 
welcome back to Green Corner. Now to this episode, it's all about pickling. Now to start off the pickling process, just to recap, what we did, the first step is we must make our pickling solution. Yes. And can you please um indicate us what was the rate again in, in making a pickling solution? Right, it's a one for one with the four ingredients. One cup of water, one cup of lemon juice, one tablespoon salt, one tablespoon sugar. Of course, if you are making a lot of pickles, you will double, triple, whatever your recipe. So today we use three cups of water, three cups of lemon juice, three tablespoons of sugar, and three tablespoons of salt. And then we put it up boil. Yes. And sure it melt. Yes. And then you leave it to cool. Cool. And then you will cut up and butter because make it sure it's cool as well. We'll ensure that your vegetables are made with fresh. Right. And guys, so we have been using today an assortment of local produce to create our pickles. So what we used were cucumbers, cabbage, sweet peppers, and we also even have because ginger, which I'm seeing. Yes. Now Natasha actually made because before to show us the end product. Yes. Right. So, and as you can see, what we have here, yes. Natasha, she outdid herself again. She made bread. She yes. baked fresh bread using coconut flour. Yes. Coconut flour bread yes. sandwich. Yes. And the chicken is rosemary and pimento. So again, no other seasoning. But this is rosemary chicken. So just rosemary and pimento. pimento. That's all this is going to use for yes, the chicken. That's all. Right. So we are going now also, as I said, you can use your pickles in salad. So we have some lettuce and you'll see some pomegranate seeds. This fresh pomegranate, I just picked one from my tree. So you can always add your cucumbers and other things to this. If you have pineapples, you can add that as well. So let's go to the salad and then we'll come back to the sandwich. So we're going to put some cabbage in. So you recommend that we can use different pickles per, per sandwich? We can yes, put you can put, you can put one, you can put four, you can Try it however you want. Right? Just put some cucumbers on this one. That's very nice. That chicken looks so delicious. I love pickled cucumbers, it's my favorite. <laughs> After your last sampling. This cucumber is pickled with tarragon, so you'll see the little yellow flowers. So not with a dill, tarragon. This one was tarragon, right? And of course you are seeing a white salad dressing here that was made by a Johnny. That is a homemade ranch dressing. So you can dress the salad. So you can take out some and give it a little rough chop. So we try at least four or five different pickles. Yes. And in two different ways on your salad and on your sandwich. And you see that this gives it a nice color. Salad starts to look oh, really beautiful. pretty there now. So you can't even use your pickles to make fresh salad. So this is what Natasha has been noting before that when price food prices are, you know, when it's a little cheap, you can buy it up and pickle it and have it in the fridge. Right, and as I was telling you, you can have your celery as sticks, uh, sorry, your cucumber in sticks as well. So we have some sticks here. And you want to chop all of this. Of 
a cherry pop on. <laughs> right, so you see this has got up quite a lot because this, we've been using this at home. These are really, really hot. So I wouldn't have more than one. Well, the pomegranate it came right from the backyard. Yes. Literally anything you can pick from Tasha's backyard and cook. Right, so, So, guys, this is my lunch today. My lunch today. Pickles, local pickles. Pickles. Yes. So, I Oh my goodness! It is good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Coconut! Are you tasting the coconut flavor? This is mm -hmm. This bread is so delicious. Bread made from coconut flour. Only by the touch of <laughs> My goodness! It's so delicious. And the pickle. Keep them up. Um, Karen, I'm mm, my favorite.
as I bring you some helpful agricultural tips. Now, I'm going to give you a little insight into next week's episode. We are going to be featuring ginger production, oh, ginger okay. beer, ginger tea, nice. pickle nice. ginger, okay. as we have here already. Oh, yeah. So, guys, I want to say thank you so very much for tuning into this program. And I hope you took away a lot of today's show and you learned a lot. I am your MCTV host, Eknat Singh, wishing you guys a happy planting and a healthy harvest.